Now, let's take a few minutes and look at some slides just to give you an idea of continuity. The very special continuity that American Muslims have that probably no other Muslim minority has in the world. Uh, there are a lot of Muslims in Germany, a lot of Muslims in Switzerland, a lot of Muslims in France, and there are also a lot of converts there as well. But none of them, Australia and Brazil, none of them can boast of what we have in terms of a continuity with the past. And let's take a look at that. <clears throat> so, what kind of a human being is that? Hmm? Is that a black man? Or is that a Mexican? Is that an Aztec? Huh? Who knows where this terracotta came from? This terracotta belongs to the early 14th century, 1300s. Where was this terracotta found? Who knows? This is your history. Where was this terracotta found? Yes. Mexico. God bless you. Mexico. By the way, hidden in the basement of the National Museum because Mexicans have a race thing. I love Mexicans, but I like the lower class in Mexicans a lot better than the upper class Mexicans. The upper class Mexicans are as white as I am. The lower class Mexicans are the ones that you probably know well. But in Mexico, the idea that Mexico is somehow connected to black people from Africa doesn't sell very well. It's not regarded to be politically correct. So this man was a mandingo. <clears throat> this man was a mandingo. And how do you know it? Because he's got mandingo earrings, compound earrings. He's got an Islamic headdress. And he's obviously an African. What was this mandingo doing in Mexico in 1300? A slave? Never. These were not slaves. How many of you know the story of Abu Bakr II, the brother of King Mansa Musa? Okay, so what did Abu Bakr II do? Um, he set out to take a couple of ships, and he never returned. Mm -hmm. And Musa became uh, right. the king of the Malayan Okay, so. Abu Bakr II was the king of Mali. Not today's Mali, but the empire of Mali. And the Arab historian Al-Umari, Shihab al-Din Al-Umari, I've read it and translated it myself in the manuscript. He writes that when Mansa Musa came to Cairo to make his pilgrimage with so much gold that he created inflation, he told Al-Umari the story of his brother. And he said that Abu Bakr, now that the people of Mali had a river culture. They had boats, they had ships. He said his brother was convinced that if you went out into the Atlantic, you could get to the other end of the sea. So he sent out 200 ships, and these ships had with them 200 other ships with gold and food and provisions. And those ships disappeared. And one of them came back. And they asked him what happened. So he said that they went into a wadi fil bahr. They went into a river in the sea, which is the current, the Atlantic equatorial current, which if you get in it, you can't get out. You will come to America. The equatorial current. If you get in it, you will come to America in 50 days, 52 days. Then Abu Bakr <coughs> equipped 2,000 ships. 2,000. And another 2,000 ships with gold and provision. And he and his men went to America. That's who this person is. Wallahi, that's who it is. This is a mandingo of Mali, and these people came to Mexico before the Aztecs. And in Aztec history, the foundation of the Aztec Empire 
involve two elements, one of them indigenous, the Aztecs, and the other from over the sea. So these people were great people. These people were rulers, and this is our roots. And there's a lot more to that story, but we're not going to go into it because that's not what I came here to talk about. Here's another one of his brothers. Check this out. These are Mandingo scars, scarification. Sudanese do it even today. Not this way. Look at the scars. And also, he's got the compound earring. And what is that? So again, uh, we belong here. We have been here for a long time. And Islam in America is either the first religion to come from the old world, or it is the second. It's not the third. If we take Catholicism as the first, and Protestantism, we look at Protestantism as a different denomination, then we would say Islam is the second. It's the second. It got here before the Protestants, that's for sure.